Dave, that's okay. We'll get to you in just a moment. New tonight, we now have a timetable for when the new Silverthorne Firehouse will be built up in Summit County. We have done a lot of reporting on how neighbors in the north end of town are worried there's just not a station close by, and the firefighters in that area agree. Our Mountain Newsroom reporter Spencer Wilson has our follow-up. Spencer, it is Summit Fire and DMS's station to build, but sounds like neighbors want Silverthorne to chip in as well. Jim, that's right. And the idea being, if cost was a limiting factor in terms of getting this station built up, even tomorrow, they want it built as fast as possible. So they're asking Silverthorne to pitch in to try and get it here sooner. That being said, Summit Fire and EMS says, even if they were to get extra money, which they don't expect to, they don't really think extra money would make this go quicker. They're building as fast as they can. The new timeline for the station? The chief let the news go this morning. He believes that we will break ground by this coming fall. And that's a timeline they hope to beat, under-promising and trying to over-deliver. Silverthorne sounds like it's trying to help out too, in its own way. That the town would be uh, aggressive in pursuing grants or other funding that may be available for projects uh, of community importance like a new fire station. It's a miracle that it didn't get worse. That's something neighbors have been asking for, the city to help with the cost. Theoretically, getting the station built faster with more money so they can respond to things like this house fire last year sooner. But Summit Fire and EMS says money might not be a magic fix. I can't env envision it speeding up the timeline. Um, we're going kind of full steam ahead right now as it is with getting the plans in place and then moving towards that groundbreaking and ultimately construction. There's plenty of possible pitfalls for the construction project. Supply chain delays, finding contractors, finding staff for the station, housing the staff for the station. But in the meantime, it's full steam ahead. We'll fight our way through all of those issues, all of those battles. Summit Fire and EMS says it is sending out proposals for construction next week. They're hoping to get those proposals back and starting to work on them by the end of the month. Live in Silverthorne, Spencer Wilson covering Colorado first. All right, Spencer, thank you, sir. You know, Spencer not only lives in the high country, I should say covers it, he lives up there as well. And he wants to hear from you about the stories impacting our busy mountain communities. Reach out by calling 303-863-TIPS or via CBSColorado.com. Once again, Denver.